less than two miles south of the United States Capitol. Welcome to Nationals Park. Today, the finale of this three-game weekend set. It's the Pittsburgh Pirates and the Washington Nationals. First pitch coming at you right after the break. So digging that in, is, Eric Stevens yeah, comes right into this Everybody. one with more homers than Steven. anyone in the National League. He's not going to get cheated up there. No, he's not. He's looking to do damage with every swing he takes. Here's a rip to short, but he's there for the third out. Back here in Nationals Park, here's Orlando Arcia. The second baseman, Orlando. Arcia. Hey, all right, here we go now. Contreras back to work. And that one is lifted in the air. Stevens gets under it, puts it away for the out. Batting six, the left fielder, Alex. At the plate for Pittsburgh, Eric Stevens. 0 for 1 so far. He is quite an athlete. I mean, you look around the other sports, basketball, football, you feel like he could thrive in one of those sports too. Strasburg, back to work. Swing and a pop-up. Arcia, under it. Makes the grab, one down. That was a good pitch to hit right down the heart of the plate. Had pretty good timing on it. The just got underneath it a little bit and Bobby. popped it up. And now it's Keebert Ruiz. The Grounded out his Keebert. first time. He's kind of an outlier, especially when guys are consciously sacrificing contact to deliver power. The pitch. Hit pretty well in the air out to center. Stevens under it. Calls it in, and there's one away. One out, base is empty. Eric now Stevens the now at the plate. Eric you talk about the power Steven. and the speed together. Oh, we knew he was going to be a stud just coming up. up, making his way through the minor leagues, and quickly at this level, an impact player. Well, certainly doing his very best out there on the mound to bring that win streak hey, a to a like halt. You can. Here we go. And a liner out into right center for a base hit. Around first, heading for two. And that's a two bagger. Up next for Pittsburgh. I'll tack one more game onto his hitting Bobby. streak, Boog. Every day, this guy just keeps making his record harder and harder to reach. I still can't believe what he's doing. Yeah, neither can I. It's like he's playing on beginner mode out there. Here's Bobby Dahlbeck. One for two. Pick off move to second, and he dives back in safely. One out and a runner at second. The 1-1 one -one is fouled off. Check on the runner, and he's back safely. Kicks and deals. And that one a little bit high. Runner at second here, one gone. Swing and a base hit. Stevens coming home. Gets back to first, no problem. A run comes in on the play. A couple of hits in a row for him here. Just a solid swing right there. Caught it out front and ripped it into the outfield for the base hit. Those always feel great. And now the center fielder, Eric Stevens. If you're a base runner, you've got to stay dialed in here. Look for anything in the dirt. Try your best to get into scoring position. All right, come on now. Let it fly. He swings and fouls one off. 
One away. Tie game. Go ahead run stands at first. Hammer could be extra bases. Around second on his way to third. Here comes the runner. He scores, and it's now 5-4. Well, Singy, he is locked in there. Well, he's really slowed the game down, and it's like he's moving in full speed, and everybody is a step or two behind. The way that he's squared up that baseball tells me that he is seeing it like a beach ball. Next, it's the Pirates' cleanup hitter, Bobby Dahlbeck. RBI knock for him last time. Now a chance to drive in another run. Next offering misses, 3 and 1. Move to second, and he's back in there. One run game, one out, one on. Three one, and he couldn't come up with it. Pretty easy walk right there. Last pitch wasn't even much to think about. Now batter, the second baseman, James. James Triantos, the next pirate to hit. All right, come on now, one time, let it fly. Ball to strike. This one high in the air to left center. Two away. So first and second with two outs. At the play, Brooks Lee, the switch hitter batting right. In the dirt. Nice job behind the plate there. Inside, just missed. Looking for some insurance. Or as our friends down in the South would say. Insurance. No matter how you say it, we know what you mean. Two on, two outs. A little out front there as he swings through it. This one in the air center field. Green moving under it. Puts the squeeze on that one, and that'll end the inning. Two men left stranded, but they do push across one. Seventh inning stretch time. It's the Pirates five and the Nationals four. Hey, get a good one and welcome now. back. And now here is Eric Stevens. Oh, look out here. He's going to come up ready to swing in this situation. Come on, big guy. Come on, buddy. You know, this guy's great speed is in the back of that pitcher's mind. If he can get on, it's going to give him one more thing he's got to think about. Elledge back to work. And that one fouled off. Elledge goes six feet, three inches, 28 years old. And he was drafted in the fourth round back in 2017. Swing and a miss. Slider right there. For a guy that's been swinging the bat, well, all game long, that was a pretty ugly swing right there. I'm sure he'll tighten it up on this next pitch. Popped up. Pulls it in for the out. The number seven is such a cool and sort of lucky number. Well, this team has been playing really well, but to win seven games in a row, uh, there's been some luck and there's been some really good play. I think you get to this point, you start to look at, can we double that? Make it double digits, make it two touchdowns, make it 14. Close one here today and your final 5-4. 